and you can go on there uh, with the with the tag or what whatever you want to call that at Harky Books. And yes, I'm on that. And I'm also, and I didn't tell you this, Suzanne, but I'm writing a column once a month for Story Monsters, Inc. And that is a teachers and librarians uh, and students magazine. And it's, uh, that's a lot of fun to do because I use one of my books called Doc's Dog Days, which is an activity book for children. And they can finish uh, each of those stories. I've got like a 20 to 25 of them. And it's, it shows an illustration of the, of the pack, uh, and it also has a short story on it. And then the students are supposed to finish that with a paragraph or two. So I started that back in August or September, and I, and I love doing that. that. That's a lot of fun. Can they go to that website to access that? Um, on the, uh, yeah, Story Monsters, Inc., I think you can, Suzanne. Now you've caught me off guard because it's called Story Monsters Inc. And I know it, it's probably just StoryMonstersInc.com or something like that. And they'll have the different um, uh, the, the magazines per each one a month. Each each um, what do I call it? issue a month is what it amounts to. Such a great idea! I love it. You and I could talk on and on and on. We have just had so much fun, and I love what you're doing so much. We're out of time, and I want to let you answer one last question. I think you've really already put this into perspective, but I'd like for you to do a little summary. When the listeners purchase copies of the books and they either read the copy of the book with the child if you're a parent and you do nighttime reading or you have a reading corner or a reading hour or if you're a grandparent and you just like to read to your grandchildren or if you're just a a, a kid and you can read these books yourself when they read through the book we've talked about life lessons that you've built into the book what is a bottom line for you, Linda, when a kid or a parent or the kids and parents together read the books, what do you want them to leave with? It's going to be a story about wonderful dogs out of Hickory Dock's Tales, but I know that you want them to leave with more than that. I think what I would like each child to leave with is the feeling that they can also be creative and write stories, but that they've learned something about family, um, uh, all of the life lessons, uh, anything about what is going on in their life, and how they can sit down and write also. And they can be inspired with their animals. And I would love it. And I'm serious about this, Suzanne. I'd love it if they would write back to me um, and let me know how they liked the book and something about them or uh, their animals. And I did that with a school someplace in Virginia. Um, and I have, I mean, they did this. Uh, and that was, that was so much fun because I received two or three letters. My website on that uh, on the Harky books, it would be better if they emailed me to my email address, and that is Linda Harkey at sbcglobal.net if they want to, and I would love it. Linda, you are just doing some extraordinary things. I can't believe we've talked so long and had so much fun. Keep up the good work. This has just been so much fun. It also occurred to me that because you have a pack of eight dogs, you have a group of personalities that have to get along with one another. And that's another thing that occurred to me that is in the book, is how these different personalities interface with one another, work together, don't get along, solve the problems that they have. I just think you've done such a wonderful job with this. Thank you so very much for being my guest on Books on Air. It's just been a pleasure. 
Bless you, and thank you, Suzanne. And you spoke eloquently at the end. I love that. And that's, that's exactly what I want my books to do. So thank you. My pleasure. Now remember, you can find Hickory Doc's Tales, the pack, first generation, on Amazon. You've been listening to the Books on Air podcast, brought to you on webtalkradio.net. You can also hear this podcast on Spotify, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, and Apple Podcasts. I'm Suzanne Harris, and I hope that you'll join us for the next Books on Air podcast, because remember, you never know who's going to be here, and you never know what we're going to talk about. So thank you so very much for listening.